What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel and in today's video we got something I'm super excited about. Why am I super excited about? Because you out there in the community, the very cool gang, have been telling us you have a problem. Well, it seems as though Ego has your solution and they have it literally right now. Like you can go and order this and, and like get it right now. So I don't know if you haven't seen this or not, but this is Ego's Power Plus Nexus Power Station. Yes, and I will tell you this much. This is super exciting. I'm gonna go through this, the box and the stats and all. I really have been, I, I have been waiting to get this thing open, okay? It's a 3,000 watt portable power station, okay? It's battery powered. So it's an alternative to gas generators. You have 3,000 peak watts. So for like startup wattage, your continuous running wattage is 2,000. It's quiet, it's clean. It's for indoor and outdoor use. It's got a five-year warranty, okay, and a 90-day money-back guarantee. You can connect to this power station through an app, all right? This kit that we have here, it's product number PST3041, okay, includes the batteries, the Arc Lithium 56-volt Ego batteries, and these are the five-amp hour variety they're included in here. The other great part about this power station is that it's a charger. So you're able to charge those four batteries. Pretty awesome. They also sell a bare tool. They also have a variant where you can get seven and a half amp hour batteries on this power station. You know, I'm able to flip this around because we have our cart. It's a beautiful, like a Rubbermaid cart. Literally scored it for $20, $20, it's used. But if you wanted to see when me and Mikey J and where we scored this cart, if you wanted to check that out, go to this video here. You can see there's the line of tools and all Ego batteries power all Ego tools. So any Ego battery you have is gonna power this power station plus your lawnmower, plus your, plus your, your snow blower, right? So we don't have to worry about having multiple battery platforms. If you're on the Ego platform, you can power this. Pretty cool. I felt as though I did a good job of winterizing my gas generator. And we're coming in, we're, we're moving into the fall season and there's, there's high winds here and such. And it's always good to have the generators on standby in case the power goes out here and at home. Here's the thing, because of the additives, uh, the, the meth, what is it they add to the, the gasoline? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. They add something, you in the comment section, if you could leave it in there. I I'm really can't think of the name of it. But they, they add a 10% like ethanol, is that what it is? I don't remember, okay? Just confirm it for me. But a lot of times that eth ethanol, I thought I did a good job of winterizing my, my gas power generator. I went to get it fired up and started. It, it, it's not starting. It's not starting. And literally, I'm gonna have to break down the carburetor, clear out the jets. It's a whole process to even get that thing started at this point. Quite frankly, it's always good to have, I'm, I'm, I wanted to get this because it's good to have on standby, all right? And if the batteries are charged, I, could get, I don't have to worry about, is this gonna start? I don't have to worry about, is the gasoline gummed up my carburetor or my fuel injection? I wanna have this available. We got the box open and we're met with a whole bunch of stuff here, right? Now, here's the thing. We have more boxes. I wanna get them open first. And I'll assume that these are the five amp hour batteries from Ego. I really tell you, I gotta tell you, I really like Ego's batteries. I especially, whoa, I love it. So these batteries, right, let's push the button. We have a single, we have a single bar on these batteries. These are the new version batteries. I really like these. They, when they're fully charged, they spin around like it, it's like so, it's pretty. It's something to be seen. Okay, so we have four of them in this kit. I really think it's it's pretty cool that we take four batteries and we create enough watts, three thousand peak watts, 
2,000 running watts out of out of four batteries. And now let's not let's not you know these are big batteries, okay? These are big batteries. But remember, if we're on the Ego platform already and we're using this for our outdoor equipment instead of gasoline and two-stroke oil and all that stuff, we're we're already going to have the batteries, right? Or Maybe you need a good generator that doesn't run on gasoline. You're looking for that pure sine wave that runs sensitive electronics. You need a generator inverter. This is your, this is your deal right here. So we have our four batteries and we lift the inverter out. This is what we're left with. You know why I, I'm, another reason I'm so excited about this? This is a solution that we're going over. It's available to you right now. Like, there's a link down in the description to take you over to Acme Tool. In this configuration, okay, that produces 3,000 peak watts and 2,000 running watts. Comes with its batteries. Comes with everything ready to go. It's only like 1,700 bucks. It's not bad. The other thing is, is there's been some discussion. Now, a lot of you have said in a power outage, extended power outage, all right, once these batteries go dead, then what do you, like, what do you do, okay? With a gas-powered generator, you can just have gas cans full of gasoline and then fill your generator as you need it. Eventually, that gas will run out. It is what it is, but you potentially have longer run time if you don't have a stockpile of these batteries. Here's the deal. Some of you said that there were rumors that Ego is creating a solar panel kit for this generator inverter charger. So during the day when the sun's out, okay, you can be charging your batteries and powering whatever it is that you need to power through that solar panel kit. And in nighttime, you could run on your batteries. The great part is the sun's, the sun's energy is limitless. You don't have to worry about running out of fossil fuels that are on hand. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. So there's literature on the batteries themselves. Okay, then we have our instructions. I wish they had like a, a quick start guide here. This is the deal though. You, we, we took a poll. We asked the very cool gang. Do, would you rather me like open the box and read the instructions and you know, after reading the instructions for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes or an hour, me come on here like I'm an expert. I know everything about this tool. Or would you rather us unbox this together and, and just move through it together like real world. You said you'd rather do this real world. Okay, so we have a back waterproof cover this goes here, okay? So we're gonna have to find those screws and attach it. And I would, I would suggest before going to town with this, you know, read all your, your instructions, your safety guide, everything. Make sure you're operating this to the manufacturer's specifications. This seems to be the charger. We have a cover here, we have a cord. Let's do this together. Let's do this. So what I'm seeing here is an ungrounded cord plugs into your brick. And then we have what looks to be a proprietary plug. Okay. It looks as though one end plugs in here. Okay. One end plugs in there. And then our other end would plug in here. And we could strap down our, our power supply or our transformer, whatever you would like to call it. Boom, and then we're ready to use this. We take our batteries, and I guess, let's just say you were gonna charge one battery, okay? You would put it on the, the number one, the one, number one slot. Then you'll see over here, we have a number two slot. You know, and quite frankly, I don't know if you need to populate these in any specific order, but there's the number three spot and the number four spot. Now, 
Let's go over the interface, I guess. We do have four USB ports here, okay, that you could charge from. Then we have three 120 volt outlets. Pretty cool. I'm excited to turn it on. Boom, it comes to life. There's a lot going on there. You'll see, the batteries went from saying they had one, one bar of power to two. That's, that's odd, right? You'll see here, it's indicating that with those four batteries installed, it's still good for 2,000 watts. Now, we're gonna pull off, we're gonna pull off the number two battery. Let's pull off the number three battery. We're down to a single battery with two, two bars of charge. That moved us down to 1,200 watts. Okay, so you, you theoretically, I don't know if we charge this battery full, maybe we can bump it back up to the 2,000 watts. I'm not certain. But all we need to do, let's see here. We're gonna install, boom, two batteries will give you the full 2,000 watts. Three, four. Pretty cool. So we have a 600 watt would be in that sp spot, 1200 and 2000 watts, all right? We have our buttons here. This is to enable our 120 volt outlets, okay? That enables our USB ports. You can enable both, okay? Now, there's, a, there's warning indicators. Obviously, we're not doing anything to, to get it to get to that point where you need a you know to see a warning indicator i will say this they've discharged very rapidly there's also a bluetooth icon so we can connect into this through bluetooth so they're saying like 12 hours and 16 minutes of runtime on this in, in in the state that it's in right now we have another five amp hour battery here that's fully charged and then we have a seven and a half amp hour battery that's fully charged i want to see what happens to this counter when we put that fully, fully charged battery in its place. So the almost fully discharged battery, brought it, removing that, took it down to eight hours, 55 minutes. Let's see what happens when you put a fully charged 5.0 in its place. Wow. So it brought it all the way up to 19 hours and 21 minutes of runtime. This number one battery has only one bar left. Let's, let's remove that. Okay, so that took like three hours off. Let's put a fully charged seven and a half amp hour battery on there. You'll see it initialized. That seven and a half amp hour battery. Look at that. Brought it all the way up to 30 hours. Wow. So here's the deal. Ego says you're supposed to charge the batteries before use. I'm thinking that we're gonna we're gonna charge, we're gonna go through charging these batteries. I want to just see what maybe freewheeling with a, a large load tool. And these batteries are all pretty much depleted. It's, it's really drawing down that power. You can see on the output gauge, I mean, you're talking about a 15 amp tool here. It, it's really, let's, let's see if it shows I mean, you can see, it didn't even, I mean, we are just starting the tool, so it's, it's not like we're under load. But, I mean, it is plenty of power to start a Mag 77. I gotta tell you, I'm super excited. We have no problem powering a Mag 77. The four batteries pretty much were the way they came out of, out of, the box. I mean, you could see we have runtime still of eight hours. Now, as we use the tool, you could see that go down, but they, they do come back up. The power does come back up. But I think for a fair test, what we should do is we should fully charge these batteries. And then what we'll do is we'll let you tell us, what do you want to see us power with this power station from Ego. You want to you want to see us like install these five amp hour batteries, all four of them, and like charge up like 10,000 smartphones? Do you want to see us make a bunch of cuts with the skill saw? Do you want to see us power 
a refrigerator, a, a, a space heater. What do you want to see? We want to know. Leave it down in the comments section below. I got to tell you, the exciting part is, is that this thing's chock full of technology and it's available today. You can get this as an alternative to adding gasoline. Think about that. You don't have to add gasoline to this thing. Anyone can operate this as long as you could plug in a battery. I dig that. And if you dig that, then tap the like button. It's free for you to do and it helps out the channel if you like the content and like our channel and like our style. Tap the like button. It's free. Why not? Why wouldn't you do it? With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.